Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. So I do get a lot of comments with people saying I have saved them a lot of money, and I do get questions, hey, can I send you some money somehow? And now there is a way, if you so choose, called the Fan Funding. You'll find it on the channel page right there. Looking at the front brakes on a 2013 Hyundai Elantra front brakes. 14 millimeter bolt, 14 millimeter bolt, and 17 millimeter bolt probably. I'll double check that. Well, let's back up and take the wheel off. 21 millimeter lug nuts. Left to loosen, right to tighten. Always start all bolts by hand. So there you go. Uh, break them loose the turn or two then jack up the vehicle and take the lug nuts off the rest of the way take the tire off and uh, use safety stands which you need to protect yourself makes it a little easier to turn the wheel so the calipers facing you got a couple Phillips screws here you got what's called the impact driver Just stick this with the different bits it has this is a Phillips bit of course you can stick that in there and hit it with a hammer and it will uh, loosen the screw for you. Give me a quick demo. Came apart pretty easy, but uh, rust going to be an issue and time. can be your enemies. And they're really not even required to put them back on, I don't think, because many vehicles don't even have them. They slide on and slide off. So <clears throat> I like to collapse the piston if I can first, so I get in here with a screwdriver and between the uh, rotor and the pa outside pad here, just try and pull and it should collapse slowly. I've already done it, but that's the idea. Collapse until it stops moving. Then you can check your slides. You see everything works, moves really nice. We can go ahead and take off our 14 millimeter bolts as we talked about and take the caliper off. We'll talk about the master cylinder. We don't really want to, uh, when we collapse the piston, we're gonna force fluid up through the hydraulics back to the master cylinder we don't really want to overflow that so uh, I've used a clean rag in the past or like a turkey baster or a suction device of some kind to suck out some fluid or you can take this a bleeder screw Ooh. probably a 10 millimeter just turn that until it opens up and uh, let some fluid out for a little while and then uh, close it you don't want to suck any air through there, but just opening it up and letting it run out should be just fine. But uh, we just collapsed it, pushed the fluid up. We'll just make sure the fluid level is uh, doesn't overflow. Just not good for the paint. I have used a little brake clean to try and clean things up a little bit before I take it apart. I'm going to use the air ratchet, 14 millimeter. Don't even actually have to take both apart. Ooh. Sticky. Ooh. And the caliper slide will come out. You can see that rubber bushing one is on the top, so just leave this off to the side. There's our pads. Seen worse, but the other side's thinner. We'll get to those two bigger bolts. 17 millimeter.
as I say in all my brake videos, if money's really, really, really tight, and you can just throw brake pads on here right now after you collapse the piston, put brake pads on, put them back together, and you'll be good to go, better than metal to metal. Best practice is to replace or refinish, have this machine smooth again. Just slides off and that is uh, removing everything you need to remove. Get the rotor machine to replace it and we'll slide that back on and start putting it back together. We've got our new rotor on. You may or may not get new clips for the brake caliper mounting bolt, or mounting. Snap them into place. Clean them up if you didn't get new ones. We'll tighten them up. Get the torque specs when it's together. Squealer right here. Put some caliper lube on our slide, put some on the other slide already so we can just slide this in, put it back together, drop it down, just like that, put our bolt in. So these bolts here, about 25 foot-pounds, the two caliper mounting bolts in the back are about 70 foot-pounds, and the lug nuts, 79, 80 foot-pounds for the lug nuts, if we're torquing them down. So next to the battery is the brake master cylinder right here. It does have a maximum on it and a minimum down here. So after doing the front or rear brakes, go ahead and pump the brakes a few times. You can check your fluid level on here. You shine a light through it, you can usually see. Mine's a little bit above the uh, maximum, so maybe I'll uh, take a little bit out. We have a suction device. There's a little red cap in here. A screen to keep chunks out of there, which is good. So, again, just don't want this overflowing, just making a mess. So, keeping 
high on this fluid level. You can maybe collapse the piston a little bit and when it gets up high you can use a clean rag or something and absorb it or a suction device right here. But this is uh, something you need to check and watch the level. So just make sure it's between the minimum and maximum and pretty close to the maximum when you're done doing the brakes. Put the cap on. When you're done, you twist and pull off. Just like that. So that is basically everything I think you need to know for your Hyundai Elantra front brake job, pads, and rotors. Good luck to y'all.